it, right? I mean, get try getting 10% flat tax rate in Europe, anywhere else in Europe, right? Uh, I think the Hungarians are trying to do it at 9.9, right. but then they hit you on the back with a bunch of other taxes. Um, so uh, that that's one piece of it. But the other piece of, of what we are uh, really uh, uh, seeing is that when economic activity increases, uh, there are no problems for tax revenues, uh, but more importantly, uh, the value add actually increases as well, because a lot of the value right now of, let's say, what's produced in Bulgaria is lost due to logistics, uh, either towards uh, the EU or uh, or out. Uh, so um, if we fix the logistics, our estimate, for example, just uh, getting rid of the, uh, making sure we have the land border Schengen, not just the air Schengen, uh, is between 3 and 5% of GDP. That's the immediate impact. Within two years, we are going to see three to five percent increase in GDP just by un unblocking that one logistical problem, uh, and that's without creating any new infrastructure. Now, if we actually improve the infrastructure, make it much easier for companies to not even think, yeah. right? I, I mean, um, if you're in Western Europe, you don't really think about the logistics. You know, you have a decent rail, decent highway to a port that's probably within a hundred kilometers. Uh, and if you're in the Balkans, logistics is half of your game, uh, both local and the, the international logistics. Um, and uh, I think that's extremely important to, to, to kind of fix and take away as a problem for the business. Uh, and the other thing is, uh, we've already seen it, the amount of Romanian tourists that come to Bulgaria, the amount of Bulgarian tourists that go to Greece. Uh, uh, I mean, I think the countries are already seeing that tourism traffic benefiting greatly. Uh, and um, I think that's only going to uh, increase once we put, for example, decent trains. Mm -hmm. There is no train right now between Ruse and uh, uh, Bucharest. Yeah. And all of Ruse is using Bucharest's airports, and that's 80 kilometers. And putting a decent train that can get you in one hour from one city to the other, probably double the amount of people who do that and make it much easier. Same thing we're doing in Bulgaria. We're putting fast trains uh, so that we can move. For example, we now have the infrastructure. It turns out we don't have the trains themselves, but the Plovdiv, which is the second largest Bulgarian city to uh, Edirne, uh, the closest Turkish uh, city on the other side of the border, is one hour, 10 minutes. And we have the rails to do it. We don't have the trains to do it yet. Hopefully, in a few months, we'll have it. Uh, Turkey is building out the train line. So Plovdiv to Istanbul is going to be three hours by train. That completely changes tourism, business, absolutely everything. And uh, uh, I think that's where we have to start thinking of how do we stitch the countries better. Um, and if, if we think about uh, uh, what's happening in, in, in Western Europe and what happened post-World War II, uh, the main thing that happened were the highway system, the railway system. Same thing with the U.S. The interstate highway system basically completely linked the country in a way that, uh, um, that if Europe had, uh, we would be in a very different economic situation.